guys how are you all doing if you're new to my channel welcome thank you for watching kiddos corral today so today I'm in my kitchen excuse the mommy bun I just clipped it up I'm having a relaxed day it's Saturday but you know what I have had a recipe very very requested because I posted a photo of this um, on Instagram a while back and it is my pretzel dogs and somebody wrote me the other day said please share your pretzel dog recipe we know you're on a diet <laughs> we don't want you to be tempted but would you please share the recipe because football season's here and uh, this is the time to make those pretzel dogs uh, for your friends and your family uh, when y'all are watching the game. This is an excellent, this is an easy uh, recipe, but I gotta tell you guys, oh, they are so delicious. And I'm sad I won't be able to enjoy them, but my family will dive in and totally devour them. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today, but let's get started in making our pizza dough. Now one thing I do want to add before I start this, you can make these pretzel dogs any size that you want. So if you want to cut the hot dogs in half and make them smaller, by all means do that and make them more like an appetizer, but I keep the hot dogs whole. I've got all boys in my family, so they are big eaters and they don't want little tiny appetizers for wimpy people. You know, that's what they say. Um, so I used a whole hot dog if you don't want to you don't have to that's the first thing the second thing is is if you have a particular kind of hot dog that you enjoy the most the type that I really like are the ones with the cheese inside of them but you can use vegan dogs veggie dogs okay you can use anything that you want pork hot dogs beef hot dogs whatever it is that you prefer you can make pretzel dogs with them um, let's see what else do I want to say to you and if you don't have time to make your pizza dough don't fret because you can go to your local grocery store and buy pizza dough there is no shame in that if you are a mom that has to work outside the home or a dad that's very busy I totally understand that believe me but for those of you that love to bake as much as I do I'm gonna show you guys my my pizza dough recipe um, and this is what I use to make my pretzel dogs with okay let's get started start with a cup of warm water and to the warm water I'm adding one package of dry yeast you want to allow this yeast to sit for five minutes now you're looking into my KitchenAid mixer and to this, I'm going to go ahead and add in my yeast mixture that we just made up with the warm water. Now I'm going to add in one teaspoon of salt. Three tablespoons of olive oil. three cups of all-purpose flour now I'm gonna add my dough hook and I'm gonna let this mixer do the work for me on low once all of the dough comes together I'm gonna allow the dough hook to knead the dough for five minutes Okay, now it is done beating my dough, or kneading my dough, I should say, for five minutes. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to push, I'm going to pull my uh, dough off of my hook. It's going to be slightly sticky, but you want that because I feel like it makes for a good manageable dough. I'm going to remove my dough hook, make sure I have all the dough off there. A glass bowl here and all I want to do is oil it with a little bit of olive oil 
this will ensure that my dough won't dry out and it won't stick to the bowl. And I like to get a little bit on my fingers because I'm going to pick my dough up and I don't want it to stick to me. There's my dough. It looks perfect. I just like to make it into a nice smooth shape of a ball and pinch it down under just like that and I want to get it in here and I want to oil the entire ball I'm going to press it down in here wipe my hands off and I'm just going to cover this with plastic wrap I'm going to stick it inside my oven with only the oven light on I like to cover it really really well and then I'm just going to put a clean towel on top of this to make it dark put it in the oven with the oven light on and I'll be back in a little while when this has doubled in size it's been about an hour maybe an hour and 15 minutes and my dough has doubled in size and it is perfect it's exactly the way I want it just going to take the plastic wrap off here Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now, I'm going to take about half of this. I don't know if I'm going to need all of this pizza dough, but I am going to take half to start. And what I like to do is just take some nonstick cooking spray and just spray my counter with it so that the dough doesn't stick. And it doesn't stick it's really honestly it um, you know acts well in this dish I have my hot dogs as you can see here and I like to put them on a paper towel a little bit and let the juices kind of uh, get soaked up a bit because you want this pizza dough to be able to adhere itself to the hot dog. So I'm going to lay my hot dogs over here. I want you guys to be able to see this. I have a cookie sheet as well and it has been sprayed with nonstick cooking spray so that whenever I make these hot dogs up they do not stick. So I'm going to get a piece of the dough and this is really easy you just want to run it through your fingers like this to make like a long snake if you will and if it keeps shrinking up keep working with it it will work I'm gonna take my hot dog and I'm gonna start at the very top and I'm going to pinch that dough together at the top so it doesn't come loose and then I'm going to wrap my hot dog in the pizza dough and then pinching the dough again at the very end just like that and then I'm going to place it on the cookie sheet and I'm going to do that for all of the hot dogs that I have here. I'm looking my into my pot of boiling water and in my pot I have a large tablespoon of baking soda. When my water is boiling I'm going to lower my hot dog into the boiling water and you want this to boil for 20 seconds. Once the 20 seconds is over, you want to scoop the hot dog out and try to get as much of the moisture off of it as possible. And I lay it back onto the pan that it came from.
I have transferred the hot dogs from the hot water and then I put them on my original pan and now they're on another pan, a baking sheet with some parchment paper. I have one egg mixed with a little bit of water and I just want to brush these and this will ensure that they become really good and golden brown in the oven. And my oven is preheated at 425. And these don't have to be perfect looking or honestly about what they taste like. They taste delicious when they are done. So I'm giving these a good egg wash. And then I have some coarse salt. What's a pretzel without salt? And I just want to put this over the top. If you don't like salt, then don't use it, but I think it really adds to it. Now I'm gonna place these in my oven for 15 minutes, and then I'll show you what they look like when they come out. I just took my pretzel dogs out of the oven and I like to put them on a white tray. I've got some mustard here on the side if anyone wants a dipping sauce. These are really easy, really delicious. I hope you all enjoyed this recipe video. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit that like button if you'd like to see some more recipes. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.